What's up guys, it's USA Specialist, and as we learn more about the next battlefield, I feel like EA is hellbent on repeating the mistakes of 2042. From DICE delaying content to the closure of Ridgeline Games and now the departure of both their newest studio and creative directors, EA and the teams behind Battlefield seem absolutely hellbent on repeating their failures and falling back into the same traps that they did with 2042. But to put all of this in perspective, let's back up. We're just now coming off Season 6 and got the reveal for Season 7. And while many fans were excited to see what DICE had been cooking up, Season 7 yet again delivered more disappointment after last season's several month content drought. After a 150 day gap in seasons, Battlefield Season 7 reveal was lackluster, with much of the content being delayed even further until May alongside a swath of deceptive marketing. Add this on to EA's recent layoffs, the closure of Battlefield's brand new studio, the departure of legendary game director Marcus Leno, the continuation of negative developer reviews, tone death remarks by executives, and now the departure of Battlefield's newest creative director, and fans are massively concerned about the next game's development. Less than two years out from the next Battlefield, and EA is already repeating some of the most concerning events we saw back with 2042. First off, we're still getting negative employee reviews about DICE on Glassdoor. As recently as this year, we can see reviews posted by ex-employees who spoke about incompetent management, bad decision making, and difficulties with Frostbite. I covered all this news a few weeks ago, and it seems to be continuing a trend of EA making these grand statements while not actually fixing things on the back end for the devs. Management still seems to be confused or corrupt, and the devs are being slowed down by a broken game engine. As much as things have definitely gotten better since 2020, devs still seem to be concerned and are posting about it to this day. Next, the comments made by EA, specifically Andrew Wilson and Lara Mell, the CEO and President of Technology respectively, are wildly out of touch. Remember when DICE and EA said that Battlefield 2042 was quote unquote way ahead of schedule? only for it to be the worst AAA game release in recent history? Well, EA's president of entertainment just said the next game was ambitious and exciting, and the teams were making meaningful progress. It baffles me that these executives in all their wisdom can't see the irony in these comments. Lara is repeating what leadership said about 2042 almost word for word. Throw in Andrew Wilson's comments about creating a Battlefield universe, all the while they're shutting down studios and canceling games, and you can understand my concern. Third, the closure of Ridgeline Games isn't in itself a bad thing. Perhaps consolidating talent is a good idea, but to do so just after your brand new game director walked out the door, and only two years since opening the office, it feels like EA is unable to stick to their long-term strategy, nor are they able to hold on to top-level talent. And also to throw a cherry on top, Criterion Games will once again step up to save the next game, just like they did with, you guessed it, 2042. Criterion will now be picking up the next game's single-player campaign, while in 2021 they stepped up in an attempt to stabilize 2042 to little avail. Finally, just for some icing on the cake, Battlefield 2042's current live service is a wreck. Like I talk about in my Season 6 review, DICE had a chance to double down with Season 6. The game had hit an all-time high, fans were hooked, and they just let it die and drug it out over weeks and weeks of zero content. Season 6 came out October 10th of last year, and just now, in March, DICE is revealing Season 7, meaning it's been over 160 days since our last content drop. Whether it's EA's grand plan, or if DICE is so short on resources that making one new map, one remaster, and three new guns is really that big of an issue, the last few months have anked their reputation with fans. For the game to be all but left for dead for several months, and then the devs announce that Season 7 will drip feed content over the next several weeks, has been a massive slap in the face on top of a rocky start to 2024. Since the beginning of this year, based on executive jargon, delays, and shakeups, EA seems determined to repeat the same actions while somehow getting different results. Battlefield's newest studio has been shut down, multiple directors have walked out the door, devs have been laid off, a battle royale is in development, DICE is going radio silent, Criterion is again being called in to save the day, Season 7 is totally pathetic, 
But don't worry, executives are once again telling us the project is ahead of schedule. Now, hopefully we're far enough out that EA and the devs can get it together by 2025, and we do have huge advantages like Vince Sampella, Ripple Effect, and the fact that the pandemic is over. And while Season 7 should at least be fun, it's still another step in a downward trend as EA seems determined to destroy the franchise yet again. Chasing trends, executive buzzwords, and again, a messy development cycle. But guys, drop your comments below and tell me if you think history is repeating itself. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for watching.